Um, welcome to this video. Basically, I wanted to make a quick video for people to practice at home, um, a yoga video about improving your immune function, your immune system, relaxing, letting go of negative energy, trying to come into a state of rest, recovery, and relaxation. At the moment, um, with the coronavirus going on, everything is so crazy, everyone is so stressed, so anxious, so worried. And this brings us into our um, sympathetic nervous system. When you're operating from your sympathetic nervous system, this is your fight or flight mode. We're only supposed to historically be in this state for a small amount of time. Enough time to give you the adrenaline to either run from or fight an enemy or a predator. When we stay in this mode for a long period of time, it really takes its toll on our body and our immune system. We can't digest our food. So even if you're eating all the best nutritious food that's going to fight this virus, your body won't absorb the nutrients. You won't sleep properly. Sleep is the time when we recover and our body repairs. If we can't sleep, how can we expect our immune system to stay elevated and to continue functioning properly? And also, it's just a horrible state to be in, to be stressed, to not be able to think clearly, to be worried. And of course we're all worried, but let's just take some time to do some self-care, focus on your body, on your system, and yeah, let's try and get into our parasystem, parasympathetic nervous system, sorry. Uh, which is our rest and digest mode. This is a state of calm. This is where our body is able to heal. This is where we're going to absorb all the benefits and nutrients from the food that we eat. And we're going to be able to rationalize things and think clearly. Um, at any point during this video, if you want to pause it and stay in the pose for longer, please do. Uh, feel free to grab blankets, cushions, pillows, blocks if you have them. Um, you don't have to use them, but if you want to be more comfortable, go for it. It's going to be a really restful, slow yoga session. And I'm not worried about your positioning. Um, it's just about being present, being there, listening to your body. Okay, so we're going to start with a very gentle inversion, legs up against the wall pose. Basically, inversions are really good because it's going to bring all of the blood and oxygen to the upper part of your body. And that's going to nourish your sinuses, help to clear any blockages in your sinuses. It's going to help support your glands and your respiratory system. Um, they're also really good for your heart as well. It takes some pressure away from your heart because it doesn't have to pump so hard to push the blood up towards your head. Okay, so you're going to bring your legs really close next to the wall like this. So your side of your body is as close to the wall as possible. If you're not against the wall already, come find the wall first of all. And then you're just going to Bend your knees and put them up against the wall like this. You can either keep your feet close together or if you want a gentle hip opener as well. We will do more hip openers later so you don't have to do this one. But if it feels nice for you today, open your legs out a little bit like this. And you can rest your hands on your stomach or on the ground. Close your eyes and relax your body. Relax your shoulders. It's going to do five deep breaths. You can pause the video and do more if you want to. Just 
Try and keep bringing your awareness back to your breath. If it falters, in the first couple of poses, it'll be more difficult. Last big deep breath. Now bend your knees and bring your feet up against the wall. Bring your hands either side of your body. And we're going to do a nice detoxing twist. So just drop both knees over to the right side and look over towards your left shoulder. Don't worry if your knees aren't against the ground, it's no problem. Don't force them in any way, just relax your body. This is a really good pose because all twists are detoxifying for your internal organs. Of course we need our organs to help fight any infections, to clear out any toxins, and also to clear out stress. Stress builds up toxins in our bodies. And this, like when you wring out a tea towel, is wringing out all of the impurities that have built up in your organs. So just relax your body. Settle into that deep breathing into your belly. slowly going back to the center. I'm just going to turn my body around. Stay where you are, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So we're going to come into happy baby pose, a nice gentle hip opener. So keep your knees bent, either against the wall or on the floor. And then you're going to pull your knees in towards your body. And you can either hold up below your knees and pull your knees towards your body, pushing your hips down against the ground, or hold on to your feet from the inside and push your hips down. This is a nice gentle hip opener. We tend to store a lot of emotion in our hips, a lot of stress and anxiety. So doing a gentle hip opener will help to relieve that stress. Quite often in yoga, we suddenly tap into a place in our body where we've stored some stress and you can have a sudden wave of emotion. So many times I've suddenly released some energy, started crying, and it feels so good. So it's so important that we do these physical practices to aid our body, to aid our emotions and dealing with our emotions. Breathing deeply, one more big deep breath. And rest your feet back down to the ground. Feel that sensation in your hips.
And rolling over one side to come up into a kneeling position. We're going to do a head pose or wide legged um, child's pose. Oh my god, I just had total mind blank. <laughs> so that can be either your legs slightly apart or quite far apart. It depends on your hip flexibility and comfort. When I first started practicing yoga, this used to hurt me a lot. So I used to keep my legs quite close together. And this is about gentle relaxation. So I don't want you to push to your limit. I want you to be able to feel this and relax into it. So you're just going to either bring a pillow in front of you or just your hands, whatever you like. And you're just going to walk your hands forward and rest your head on the ground. Your buttocks should be against your heels. If they're not, put something under your head, maybe your fist or a pillow, and then rest here. And this is a really good pose because it's opening your back with your arms in front of you, and it's helping your respiratory system, helping your lungs, helping you to breathe deeply, and aid any problems that could be going on there. So deep breathing. Relax your shoulders. Slowly pushing it into your hands, walk your hands back in. Good. We're going to do camel pose, then a nice gentle version of camel pose. Again, another one for opening your chest, allowing you to breathe more easily, clearing any inflammation, any build up of fluids, and really helping to give us the best possible defense within our lungs and our respiratory system. So come up high onto your knees. Place your hands on your lower back like this, fingertips facing down. Open your chest by pulling your elbows in towards each other and your shoulders pinning back. And then you're going to push your hips forward, look diagonally up, and gentle back bend. Deep breathing. One more big deep breath here. And slowly coming forward. And you're going to bring your knees, your legs straight out in front of you, your knees bent. We're going to do a forward bend. Four folds are really good as well for your internal organs, for detoxifying them as you're putting a little bit of pressure onto them. It also is going to take a lot of pressure off of your respiratory system. It really helps with your immunity as well by bringing a new supply of blood flow and relaxation. I want you to do this in a really gentle, recovering, relaxing way. So I don't want you to have straight legs and straight back and pull yourself into any crazy position. I want you to keep your knees bent. I want you to reach up for the sky. And then as you bend forward, bring your hands underneath your knees. And you're going to hug your legs, really give yourself a nice hug, and then relax your head down. Mm, so nice, I love this position. Deep breathing really deeply here, really nourishing breath. 
breaths. Relax your shoulders, relax your forehead, relax your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Really focus inwards, focus on how you feel in this present moment. Last big deep breath, biggest breath of the session. And let it go. Slowly bring yourself back up to sitting. And we're just going to do a little relaxation. So you can either lie down on your mat or come into a comfortable sitting position whether that's with your legs crossed, sitting on your knees, you could be sitting on a chair, use cushions, just make yourself comfortable. And once you're there, in a comfortable position for you, I need to bring your hands resting on your knees, palms facing up, perhaps you're going to touch your forefinger and thumb together in Gayan Mudra. I'm going to close down your eyes. And once more, bring your awareness to your breath. Breathing deeply into your belly, feeling your belly move up and down. Now I want you to bring your attention to your chest space, your heart chakra, or that part in your chest where your heart is, the centre of your chest. And just see if you can feel some energy there, try and cultivate a feeling of love. Maybe you want to imagine a loved one or a pet that you really love, picture their face. Get a real sense of love in this area. You can place one hand on your chest if you want to, if it helps you. Now, imagine a bright white light above your head coming from the sky and coming into the top of your head. Imagine this light coming down, straight down through the center of your body and is joining with this energy that you're feeling in your heart center. It's increasing this feeling. Now imagine or feel this energy radiating out through your body. Feel it radiating across your chest. your shoulders, down your arms, feel this energy in your fingers, your fingertips, feel it travelling down your spine, in your abdomen,
your hips, your upper and lower legs. Feel it in your feet, in your toes. This bright, warm, loving and healing energy is radiating throughout your whole body. Now imagine this energy spilling out through your hands, out of your body and overflowing into the environment around you. Your healing energy is going out into the world, healing the world other people in the world, animals, plants. This healing energy is healing the whole planet. Just sit and feel this energy radiating out of you. I just want you to say in your head these positive affirmations. My immune system is functioning perfectly as it should. I trust the wisdom of my body to keep me safe and healthy. I understand and provide my body with all the tools it needs to function perfectly. Just say these affirmations in your head a few times. Take a deep breath into your belly and let it go. Bring your hands together in front of your chest. Namaste. Thank you. I really hope this video helps you. Take care of your body. Self care is paramount. I'm sending you so much love, energy,